So we just had a knock at the door. Who could it be? Are we getting groomed today? All the birdies are getting groomed. And there she is. Oh my goodness. Hey, Carrie. Hello. Are you ready to groom the birds? We're ready. Whoa, Victoria's gonna get her nails done. Hi, Missy. And she might get her beak polished. We don't know. Hi, beautiful. Hey, the birds are jazzed. Oh, so not. Boy. But it's nice because Carrie can come here and we could do it here instead of having yep. to go to the vet or a bird store where you can catch them, right? Yes, especially with a lot of stuff going on. If you do have to find yourself going to a pet store to do this, I would bring your own towel and maybe your own little file so that you don't have to rely on somebody else's file and towel to hold your, your bird. Right, because a lot so. of diseases travel through feather dust yep. and just feces. You, you, yep. just, you just don't know. So, But yeah. maybe after this video, you'll be able to do some of it yourself. So what do we have here, Carrie? Well, some things you, you may or may not want to have. So I don't recommend using these to necessarily groom your bird's nails with because they really can pinch. Okay. But sometimes you get a bird that you've gotten through rescue, you may have gotten through, you know, some other avenue, pet store, what have you. Or maybe you've had a bird that just, um, you know, has some really quick overgrowth. Mm -hmm. You can use this initially to trim with, um, but then I would always use a Dremel. The Dremel rounds off that nail, it allows that foot to sit nice and flat. Um, ideally, it should sit flat. You get, the toes can raise up a little bit, maybe. But if you should happen to do it a little short and it does cause a little bit of bleeding, this does kind of naturally wick it also. Um, but I would always have um, what I would call quick stop. It's K-W-I-K. It is a little styptic powder. And it looks much kind of like a, just a yellow powder kind of a stuff. And this is great to use if you have a nail that you've cut too short. If you don't have this readily available, I would recommend maybe like a cornstarch. You know, everybody usually has that in their kitchens and that will stop it temporarily until you can get maybe to a pet store to get it possibly um, or to a vet if it's bad enough. Um, and then scissors. Scissors are for trimming the wings. Um, and really nothing else. Um, we don't typically do beaks unless there's a malformation where it's just growing incorrectly due to a fall, uh, malnutrition, you know, uh, that kind of stuff. But typically beaks don't have to be done. So Maui had a bad beginning in life. I'm gonna get that proof. So he was actually scared of the towel in the past, so I've taught him not to fear the towel, and he actually loves the towel after his showers. I'll cuddle him, which I, I don't like that word, you guys, but I do, and he gets so relaxed in the towel, like that. Is he like that? He's not squirming at all. No vocalizations. No vocalizations, so he's totally relaxed in the towel. So you can train your parrot Absolutely. to just chill and whip out a towel, you know, when it's maybe cold and just give them some extra cuddles in the towel, which I don't like that word, but for this, it's perfect. So okay. Maui's nails are black, so you have to be really careful because you can't see the quick, right? And his nails curl, so his nails are different than most birds. You're gonna isolate one toe in your fingers. And you're just gonna... Just take it down just a little there. Maui has these nails that curl, and when I actually got them, they were curling into his skin when I took him in. And so he had to, they had to put him to sleep to surgically remove it. And now, so I just keep it up so we don't have that issue. Okay. He's we're such a tuck, good bird. Tuck that little foot in. And again, we're gonna isolate the next foot. And I let them, you know, this brings up a good point. I don't just yank on that leg, you guys. I let the, the bird decide how that leg is to be relaxed in that, in, or however it's supposed to be. I want to use the word relaxed lightly because they're not really relaxed in this type of procedure, but you don't want to just yank the leg and just keep holding it in a nat natural position because that hurts, you know, you don't want that. That's prolonged and it's just not comfortable for them. Yeah, that's a very negative experience, and they yeah. feel like they're prey, like something to eat them. Okay, honey, I know. Okay. I know, you're doing good, honey. He's vocalizing, okay. you guys, so he's fine. He's not in any pain. There we go. He needs okay. this so bad. Okay. 
I know, baby. You're doing so good. I'm so proud of you, honey. I know, sweetheart. I'm so proud of you. So, so proud. I know. So proud. One more little one, honey. One more. One more. Okay. 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 All done, honey. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. And there he goes. And he says, goodbye, Carrie. FYI peeps, they make Dremels that have guards on them so it protects your bird's tootsies. This is the one that I have. I love it. That's the brand and link is below at our Amazon store. I always recommend using a towel everyone to groom and you want the towel appropriate to the size of the bird. So if we have a big bird, you want a big towel. If you have a smaller bird, you want a smaller towel so they don't lose the, the bird in the towel or have something worse where the bird is potentially biting you because you're not sure where the bird is in the towel. So just a little tidbit there for you. Oh, right. the so big girl. you want um, the towel is between her neck and my hand. It's not causing her to not be able to breathe. There's a plenty of room. Whenever someone holds across the chest here, you want to hold up above their chest so they can still rise and fall their chest so that they're not having any problems, difficulty breathing. And with cockatoos, you never know, or any bird, I'm sorry, you never know when they eat or when they've had breakfast or lunch or a snack because they're kind of foragers throughout the day. I always like to have the bird held up a little bit. Um, it just keeps them up. It doesn't, you know, I don't want to hold her straight down. If she were to get sick, I don't want her to aspirate anything. So I'm just going to have that, um, April just kind of hold her like this and it just kind of keeps her elevated and I can do her nails as needed from here. So we're going to just expose her little underside. You see she exposes her little foot right away. And you can see here she's gotten, you know, a couple of toes are really, really nice right now. We're just going to touch up a few and here we go. Kind of see so you i know it's hard to see up close but we have a nice groomed foot so we have the next foot and ideally the foot that was just done will stay in the towel so it doesn't get also exposed at the same time so you only have to control one foot at a time and they wiggle a little bit they wiggle be very careful you're going to do the dremel because you can take a toe off you can kind of see up close kind of what they look like so they're still very long because we want her to be able to hold on. She's Whoops, an older bird. There we go. She's an older bird with arthritis, so she has to be able to hold on to those perches. If you go too short, they will fall. Nice job, Victoria. Good girl. That's a treat, right? I know this is a topic where a lot of people are like, don't clip birds, you know. Right. But the thing is, it's it's not my job to say to clip or not to clip because right. every situation is different. Exactly. For myself, for instance, I do have a handicapped bird with only one leg. Having him be full flight is a huge benefit because it allows him to navigate his cage, but also his surroundings a little bit better. Um, since it's isolated just to the, the home environment and an outdoor aviary during the day sometimes. So um, in that instance, yes, I do have an Aquan Gray that's full flight and I have a couple Meyer parrots that are full flight. It's by choice. Um, they're little, you know, the, the two little Myers are little and I want them to be able to have some flight and that's all they've ever known. Um, so yeah, so it's just, it's pros and cons for everybody. Yeah, and so some birds will be getting clipped today to protect yes. other birds. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he guns for the birds and he actually attacks Thomas, which right. is, Thomas can have a seizure and that's happened before, and Baby. Right. Like Baby and Puffy, as you guys know, if you've been following it, they are the gang in yeah. the bird room, yeah. so they're getting clipped. Yeah. Um, Victoria's not. Thomas is not, and right. so we, you know we clip for certain reasons, usually for safety. Okay. And just like April, I have a home also that is um, filled with birds from very small little parakeets right now to a large macaw. You got parakeets? So I do have parakeets. Temporarily. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so, so you know you can understand. Um, from my point of view, that some of these my smaller birds really do need to be full flight yes. for their safety. Um, I don't just let them out willy nilly, but um, you know I just want to make sure that they're okay if they accidentally do get out. If I'm not the only caretaker of them that day or something like that. Um, so there you go. Okay, and then we're gonna clip that. Good job, Puffy. So you can also train your birds like Puffy's trained, where you can hold their wing out, and what you can do is you can give them treats when you start to do this. Hold it out like this, and it's not cramped. There. Okay. That's a good job. Oh, He's proud of himself. Oh, good boy. Good job. 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 Good
It doesn't Woo! always have to be a negative. It could be a positive. So he feels really proud. Yay! Whoa! Okay. Am so I? Did I do a good job? Yeah. Are you okay? 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 Oh. Okay, so that okay, was so the one that we've been clipping. Trimmed. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this, so she's gonna clip. You guys can see. Kind of just one. right up to the secondary. I kind of like leaving a little fringe there because it helps if the bird's sitting on by accident on your shoulder. At least the little fringes hit your face and not the shaft of the feather, and it doesn't hurt as bad. All right, silly. Okay, okay. up you go. Okay, so here we go. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, we're just Get gonna stand back. That. Whoa! Okay, so I'll just stand back here. Someone's mad. There we go. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay, so what we're going to do is, you want to step up? Good bird. So he has his neck. Yep. <laughs> Only smooth. Normally, he is, he's, he's got that back. Yeah, he's got this before. <laughs> like, you got poop on you? I've got, so I've got poop. The puffinator, so far, no. the puffinator always leaves this mark Would on you like me. Some cold water? Yeah, oh, well, don't you? Yeah, so all the birds, they're fine. And then Thomas, they all survived. All survived, you guys. I know. Everybody's gonna be like, oh, you poor birds. So Thomas does not get groomed. Right? No, he doesn't. No, so. Woo! I've been using a nail file. Yes, so Thomas has seizures and he's very arthritic, so I don't want to do that. Victoria, you did so good. Oh my gosh. This is wonderful. Everybody did so good. Yay! Whoa! Whoa! Well, of we course, the birds are not as happy as we are about the whole thing, but oh well, but they're going to be happier overall. Now, so they'll be a lot more comfortable in their cages than walking around. Absolutely, we're not bleeding. Like, no, look, no, look. Five fingers, I got five them all. fingers. I got them all. Yay. My feet, my toes are in my shoes. Oh, I got Well, thank you so much for You're coming. So you welcome. guys, I love you guys, you. imagine I used to have to take all my birds. Yeah, that was like, crazy. It was poor. Yeah. It was just crazy. It was so stressful. So thank you, Carrie. Yeah, absolutely. If you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. And thank you for watching Parent Playhouse. We love thank you. you. Say goodbye, Mom. Bye. Bye, Bye guys.